Good day everyone, my name is Patricia Bianca Artinorio from BSC 3E and we will discuss the Delinquent Subculture Theory, the Albert Cohen's Theory. Um, before we define the Delinquent Subculture Theory, let us define first the meaning of delinquent and subculture. Uh, based on Miriam Dictionary, delinquent is a usually young person who regularly performs illegal or immoral acts. Uh, these are young individuals, uh, particularly the teenage boys or girls, uh, or get themselves associated or they perform illegal or immoral acts. Example of illegal or immoral acts are theft, robbery, or even homicide. Next is subculture. This is from Cambridge Dictionary. Uh, the way of life, customs, and ideas of a particular group of people within a society that are different from the rest of that society. Culture that is created by a small group within the society wherein these cultures were considered to be divine or be contrasting to the culture of the larger group of the majority of the population in the society. Next is, according to Cohen, the union of young people into subcultures is the result of adjustment and status problems of their members caused by the inequality of the existing class society. Uh, because there is an unequal treatment to the different classes, and also there are different arising problems with their status, youth adjusted to their situation wherein they create their own subculture in which the cultures in their subculture tend to be antisocial and made them commit criminal acts. Next is the middle class measuring rods. This term is created by Albert K. Cohen. Uh, members of the lower class are unable to meet the standards of the middle class and in that case, it affects their life. Uh, the middle class have their standards, particularly in the school system, they favor middle class standards. Example, their dresses and etiquettes in the school, uh, the kids in the lower class fail to measure or put themselves in the standards of the middle class. So it resulted to what we call status frustration, wherein they felt frustrated or they felt angry because they cannot attain the middle class standards and expectation. Uh, as a solution, they resorted to what we call reaction formation. They react to what the society puts them. They set their own values and beliefs that turns down or rejects the values and standard of the middle class. As the kids growing in this type of neighborhood, wherein they didn't have any good role model or any good exa example of having a successful life, wherein this role model is engaging into good values and good standards in society. So these kids tend to join these three types of boys of, uh, by Albert Cohen. Uh, first is the corner boys. Uh, this type of boys only go through life. Uh, they only live their life not pursuing any kind of material things, so it resulted to them engaging to illegal acts. Next is the college boys. Um, embraces middle class standards however or regardless of how hard they strive in attaining the standard of middle class they cannot fit in their values and their standards next is the delinquent boys directly embrace the standards and norms that is opposing or contrasting to the norms of middle class uh, they do what they are not supposed to do because they feel that they can't fit uh, to standards of middle class. The main characteristic of delinquent according to Cohen first is malicious behavior. According to Cohen, uh, delinquent boys get their kicks from tormenting non-delinquent children. Uh, the purpose of delinquent acts is to annoy or even injure others. Next is negativistic. Th that is, they think their behavior is right precisely because it is wrong according to the norms or rules of a larger culture. Uh, criminal acts are committed precisely because of their prohibition in order to consciously reject conventional values. Next is non-utilitarian because their activities do not produce a direct economic benefit. The divine actions are not committed on the basis of economic rationality. Next is versatile. They double in a wide variety of delinquent activities. Uh, hedonism is evidenced by their impatience and impetuosity. Uh, next is group uh, autonomy. They are also to the other members of the gang but hostile such as parents, teachers, and other authorities. 
Subcultural theory is not a uh, actual learning theory, but rather a hybrid of learning, anomie, and other theories. Another special feature uh, is that subculture theory only deals with juvenile delinquency but not with criminal behavior in general. Cohen's subcultural theory draws attention to the fact that criminals in their view do not criminally at all. As a member of subcultures, they are subject to different behavioral requirements based on values and norms that deviate from those of mainstream society. Cohen's theory has a decisive weakness in its own limitation to juvenile delinquency. Cohen's theory is based solely on studies of North American street gangs and youth gangs. Uh, subsequent attempts to extend it to crime in general have failed because it is obviously uh, observed to attribute in any criminal activity to the existence of male delinquent subcultures. Some critics also doubt whether these gangs uh, of young people and gangs actually represent such postulated subcultures and deviating norms. Quite few studies have shown that many youth groups are rather loose and unstructured connections. In addition, there is criticism of the underlying determinism of Cohen's subcultural theory. Albert Cohen proposes that status frustration theory in his work. Ito yung um, delinquent boys, the culture of the gang. To describe how lower class men feels um, frustrated by an inability to achieve same status as a member of middle and upper class. For example, nalang ito is nasa school. Um, si lower class, no, ginagawa niya yung best niya para um, maging kapantay niya si middle class. Pero si teacher, mas binibigyan niya prioridad at um, binibigyan niya pansin yung mga tao na sa middle class. So si lower class, no, um, bumababa yung self-confidence niya dahil nga um, ginagawa naman niya yung best niya para uh, pumant, uh, maging katulad ni middle class pero hindi yung napiyapansin ng teacher niya. Dahil dito, um, nabawala na ng self-confidence si lower class para magpatuloy sa ginagawa niya. Ang nagiging rason nito dahil sa unbalanced na pagtingin, um, si lower class nagiging um, inahanap niya yung status na gusto niya at dito niya nakikita to sa pagsayo sa isang gang sa pagsayo niya dito ano, mas na mas na pipil niya yung ano um, status na gusto niya ma um, paramdaman at isa pang example nito is um, parang piling mo na ano um, nagiging out of place kasi isang society yung nakikita mo yung ginagawa nila pero sa, sa paramdam mo hindi mo kayang gawin yung kayang giaga, yung ginagawa nila Conclusion Lower class failed to fit into the standards of the middle class that they felt their status frustrations which they resolved by forming their subcultures that rejects the middle class values. Ibig sabihin kapag ang mga nasa lower class ay nabigong bumagay sa mga standards ng mga middle class, magkakaramdam sila or makakaramdam sila ng status frustration or ibig sabihin, mawawalan sila ng gana or kakayahan para makuha ang layunin nila tulad ng mga nasa middle status. For example, hindi sila nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral, so hindi sila makakahanap ng uh, magandang trabaho tulad ng mga nasa middle class. So, para uh, ma-resolve ang kanilang uh, problema or status frustration, magsisimula silang bumuo ng kanilang sariling subculture na iba sa mga middle class. Or nire-reject nila yung uh, values ng mga nasa middle class. Additionally, youth who struggles to meet the standards of the middle class recognize themselves as to what they are in order to adapt to their status, they uh, form their subcultures in which their norms often contradicts to the majority norms that resulted to malicious and criminal actions.
So, ibig sabihin, ang mga kabataang nahihirapang makamit ang mga standards ng mga nasa middle class, imbis na tanggapin or i-adapt ang kanilang kasalukuyang status, bumubuhos sila ng kanilang sariling subculture na kung saan ang kanilang norms or asal, kilos, or gawi ay salungat sa norms ng nakakarami. Na nagre-resulta ng mga kriminal na aksyon or malicious or pagnanais na magdulot ng pinsala sa isang tao o sa uh, society.